One of the first decisions to make as a new beekeeper is going to be where to put your hive. Now people keep honeybees all over the world in all sorts of amazing places. From rooftops in LA to balconies in Berlin, from rural landscapes to urban backyards, large honey farms to honey houses in hot climates and also in cold. Honeybees are great at adapting to the environment around them. So let's go over a few key points that you'll need to consider when thinking about where to place your hive. First things first, safety. Some people are severely allergic to bees, so make sure you've read our safety information. So bees like to fly out of their hive, generally up and away in the direction the entrance is facing. If there's an obstacle in the way, that's okay for the bees, but it gets harder to predict where their flight path may be. When deciding where to put your hive, it's important that the flight path is pointing away from people. So don't point your hive to where people may walk or where children might play. Have you ever noticed those little yellow dots that end up on your car sometimes? They're actually bee poo. So don't point your hive towards the neighbour's washing line or their car. It's always good to be respectful of your neighbours. If there's a light shining on your hive at night, you'll often get a few bees buzzing around it, which could create an issue. So try and position your hive so there's not a light shining directly at it. In our area, we have cane toads that eat the bees at night and water dragons that eat them by day. So it's a good idea to get the bees up off the ground so that the ground dwelling predators don't take advantage of your bees. But not too high because you still need to service your hive and also harvest your honey. In some places, beekeepers fence their hives from bears or livestock or people. And pets can also be an issue. A nosy dog might get to the hive and cop a sting on the nose. It's worth asking your local beekeepers what you may encounter in your area. Honeybees can thrive in full sun or full shade as they're amazing at heating and cooling their hive. However, bees in year-round shade can suffer from dampness and be more susceptible to pathogens like chalk brood. In our subtropical area, winter sun and summer shade is the ideal situation, or at least afternoon shade on those hot days in summer. Beekeepers often suggest facing your hive entrance towards the morning sun, so the bees get up earlier and start foraging. But the flight path is probably a more important consideration. Having your hive level in the side to side direction is important when the bees are building their natural comb. And our baseboards have a built in three degree slope for the right honey harvesting angle. So it's important to level the area where you put your hive, unless of course you have our adjustable leg kit, which makes it easy to find the right levels. If you have strong winds in your area, placing your hive out of the wind could be a good idea to aid your bees as they come and go, and also limit the effects of wind chill in those colder regions. So these are just a few things you'll need to consider when choosing where to put your hive. I really hope your bees thrive in their new home. And if you put your bees in the wrong spot, don't worry, we'll be covering how to move your hive in some coming episodes.